Z-Axis provides electronic design and manufacturing services. This video is the first in a three-part series describing our electronic design process from the requirements document through the design review. Some manufacturers come to us with a detailed requirements document and a statement of work. Others know what they want a product to do, but aren't sure how to get there. Either way, our design engineers can help. Based on your requirements, Z-Axis will provide a proposal with a timeline, milestones, and cost. The first phase could be a feasibility study, and many projects need a basic prototype. Detailed design work begins with a block diagram. Each block represents a function, such as battery protection circuitry. We'll then create the circuits for each block and find the best solution. This may surprise you, but it takes more time to source parts than to design circuits. There are many specifications to compare, and issues such as pricing, availability, and sourcing to consider. By making smarter choices during the design process, you can avoid production delays later on. That's why even if you've identified all components that you need, Z-Axis may suggest some alternatives. Although we use parts from our design library whenever possible, we can also define and add new parts as necessary. Once your preliminary design is complete, it's time for schematic capture. Using computer-aided design software called PADS, our technicians draw your actual circuit diagram. Then they simulate your electrical circuit using software called SPICE. When SPICE is complete, it's time for the design review. That's when a team of design engineers looks for flaws and ensures that all your requirements are met. Two heads are better than one, and a team of engineers is best of all. In our next electronic design series video, you'll see how Z-Axis performs a printed circuit board layout. And as always, you can contact us for more information.